Hi, I'm James with British Customs. Today we're going to be working on this 2011 Triumph Thruxton 900. Uh, we're going to be building this up for aggressive dirt riding for state of ethos rider Kalana Humphrey. But before we do that, we want to go over the history of this motorcycle. So this started out as a 2011 Triumph Thruxton bone stock and we were approached by Cafe Racer TV to build a custom Cafe Racer in 24 hours. So we used a variety of our bolt-on accessories, but we also used it to develop some other parts. We did a two-into-one low. This was the first bike to have a two-into-one low exhaust. Uh, we did the wide wheel kit in the back. So we went with an all-white paint job on this, and then to give it a little more power, we added cams and we dyno tuned it with a power commander. So not only does it look cool, but it goes fast too. So in order to build a bike in 24 hours, you know, a couple things had to be overlooked a little bit. One is still under kind of prototyping stage. It's a brand new exhaust. We're trying to figure out exactly what it's gonna take, but uh, nothing is going as planned. So after getting it into the canyons, we found that the merge collector was scraping into the turns. So we made some adjustments to move it up higher and maybe back a little bit further so it didn't hit anymore. And then the Bostrom brothers got to ride it on the episode of Cafe Racer TV. Man, I cannot believe the difference between these two bikes. It just puts you in the moment. You get on it and it's the sound, and then it's the, the stiffer feel, and then you know the, the more positive leaning feel, and uh, every movement is just accentuated on this bike. And you just want to hear it. Like, you're probably going to get awful gas mileage because you're just like this the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so after the Cafe Racer episode aired, we wanted to do something different with this bike, so uh, we kept the clip-ons on, and then we went with knobby tires, and we had a real interesting paint job on there. It was red and silver. And that's where the, the red caps are still on there from that original thing there. And then we brought it up to Portland for the one show. We had our friends at CC Motorcycles rip it around in the dirt. So after Portland, we were heavily involved in Thruxton Cup racing. So we put racing tires on it, and we had several pro racers riding for us, uh, such as Jason DeSalvo. And we even had Jake Zemke take it for a ride around the track. So once again, we're gonna do something totally different with this bike. And we're building it up for the dirt for Red Bull athlete, Kalana Humphrey. And Kalana is five foot two, so these side pipes make him bow his legs out a bit. So we're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna put a two to one low on it so he can get his legs tucked in a little bit more. And we've always used that pipe on the street. So we're gonna see how it does on the dirt now. Be interesting. We're going to narrow the bars. We're gonna put a number plate on the front and we're gonna drop in a, a tune, get rid of the power commander and drop in a tune from TTP and see what happens. So we're gonna start by taking this exhaust off. So we're gonna remove the power commander here. Um, this is what we call a piggyback system. It doesn't actually change the information in your ECU. That still stays stock when you use a power commander. So this was used to tune on the dyno tuner with the pipes that were on the bike, but we're completely changing it. So we're gonna take this off. I'm gonna use a drop-in tune from, from TTP, and we're gonna see how that goes from there. And from there, we could always add the power commander and tune on top of that. But that tune from TTP will change the actual tune in the ECM, as to where this is just changing the information afterwards and feeding different information to the fuel injectors. So even though the bike may look clean on the outside, as you can see, it could be a lot of dirt on the inside. So you wanna check your air filters. You should clean all this electrical stuff up too while you're in there. Um, but you need your air cleaners to be clean for the motor to breathe. If you start suffocating this, 
it's not going to breathe properly, it's not going to get proper fuel delivery, and you're going to have loss of power. So we're going to put this number plate on. What we did was take out the headlight and we put on these, we have these exhaust bracket weld-on tabs that we had laying around. You could use any L bracket would work. Drill a hole this way, drill a hole that way. We're using our retro billet head, headlight ears. Um, if you're using different ones, it may require some other steps that I'm not aware of, but these, it just bolts flat right on. So when we designed this two into one system, we decided to exit on the left hand side because when we upgraded all the stuff on the right hand side, the pipe was blocking it all off. So now we figure if it's on the left, this leaves it all open to show off our upgrades that we did on the drive line. So we're gonna install our new race foot peg. This is the same as the old Bates foot peg that we used to run, but we redesigned the inside so you don't have to put a cover on if you don't want. It's got plenty of grip to it. And these foot pegs are still machined and anodized right here in Southern California. Just like that, installs just like stock. So this is goodbye to these red tops finally. We're gonna install these Biltwell uh, carb toppers. Had to modify them to fit in the fuel injection and these are discontinued parts so we didn't mind doing that. So I'm at 34, so I'm gonna be cutting an inch off each side. A new product that we're coming out with, it's uh, side number plates, and it's a two-piece design, all aluminum construction, nice piece. You can have uh, customized any way you like. We're gonna supply at least one sticker, if not more, that you can just adhere right to it. You could have it engraved, painted, pinstriped, uh, whatever you want to do, powder coated, chromed, you know, it's up to you. So uh, we'll show you how this goes on. Slide that over. Saw a connector here, just give that a little squeeze and make sure your direction is correct and plug it in. <laughs> 